All right, we're getting ready to uh, lop off the barrel on this uh, shotgun. It is very, very long. I'll move the camera up and uh, show you. All right, basically what I did is I just took a tape measure and run it all the way up through the barrel with the uh, action closed and uh, bottomed out up against the bolt face. And if you look, this barrel is a 30 inch barrel. Now we want to drop this back down to about an 18, legally it has to be 18 inches. We want to stay at 18 and a half so that keeps us um, legal. Most people will try and tell you to measure the outside of the barrel. They'll come up here and say, oh, this barrel is 29 and 3 eighths inch long. When actually, it's a 30 inch barrel when you go to the face. And you can't really go on the outside measurements of your barrel because if you ever got into an ATF situation, they're going to measure from the inside of the bore to the bolt face. So, with the action closed, we're not going to play around with anything like that. Um, legal is 18 inches. We're going to make sure we don't go under 18 and a half, so it gives us half inch to play with. And more than likely, I'm going to lop this thing off to 19, so that gives me... We're going to lop it off just above 18 and a half inches so that gives me room to uh, straighten out my barrel and even everything up so we're gonna measure it out basically what I did I'll show you is I just took a piece of fishing line and taped it to the top of the rib um, you have these little grooves on top of the receiver I just went in the center of it and I took my front bead out just screwed it out and just tied me a piece of fishing line so it's right in the center and I'm gonna come up to um, just past where I'm gonna lop it off make sure my fishing lines good and tight and then I'll just make me a mark in my barrel so where I'll know exactly where I'm gonna need to put that new bead at so now I'm going to lay out the barrel and get ready to chop it. I figured that this barrel at 30 inches when I measured it, we want to take it and make sure that we keep it at 18 and a half so we could actually take 11 and a half inches off of this barrel. But in order to make sure we've got enough room to still play with squaring up the barrel and cleaning everything up I'm just gonna mark this thing I'll come up here to the end of a take the tape measure hook it on the end and we're gonna go right at 11 inches if you can see that or not right here where I've got my mark is at 11 inches and just make me a little mark and that's where I know I'm gonna chop the barrel off okay good basically to make sure I have a straight edge is I just put a clamp on there you can buy these anywhere uh, had a whole box of them so I just put a hose clamp on there and I made sure that I moved it back to my mark that I had made and that makes it us taking off exactly 11 inches on the barrel and that hose clamp on there should give me the ability to keep a straight edge when I, a pretty straight edge when I cut it with a hacksaw. And then basically all I'm gonna do is just take a hacksaw and hack that barrel off. And we'll go from there.
All right, basically you can see we have shortened the barrel. And that hose clamp kept everything pretty square. Uh, I like to turn this down because the clamp usually doesn't get right on the line. It overhangs a little bit, so cut into your clamp, which is no problem. Take your old clamp off. And be careful because all this will be sharp. All right. All right, we've got our chopped off barrel put back in. I want to make sure everything's right. Got the uh, chamber closed, slide forward and locked. Uh, we're just going to run the tape measure in there all the way down to the bolt face. And we've got 19 inches. Perfect. So, but if you look and see, The edge of this the barrel is not real square. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to take a file and uh, even all that up. Make it square all the way across. Uh, and we'll go from there.